The new voter registration system in Georgia is described as more advanced and secure. Secretary of State Brad Raffensperger announced the new system today. News for Jack's reporter Marilyn Parker is joining us live. And Marilyn, you went to some Georgia elections offices today to see what this change is all about. A Glenn County supervisor of elections tells me the easiest way to explain this is like you're switching from Internet Explorer to Google Chrome. The new system is faster, more secure, and I'm told there won't be a difference in the voters experience. Georgia's taking a new approach to voter registration. We need a stable election platform, and that's why we've moved to Jarvis. Jarvis, or Georgia Registered Voter Information System, was introduced Wednesday by Secretary of State Brad Raffensperger. He says the system is more advanced and user-friendly. The changes are all on the administrative side. It includes the registration database, the voters' personal information, assigning precincts, and in the early voting process, the system will process the application and make sure you get the right ballot. This is the Glynn County Board of Elections, one of the many places throughout the state that saw long lines during early voting. I spoke with the assistant, the supervisor of elections, who explains how the new software is going to be different from what they used to use. Christina Redding says being it was an older system, it made it harder to process information. She says early voting became sluggish and now there are many more people voting than when the system was designed. Redden says the system was always secure, but new threats emerge as time goes on. Security is the key to truly assuring that all voters and all candidates know and understand that the winner is the winner and the loser simply came up short. Raffensperger says the system will be housed on a server that's one of the highest level of security assessment and authorization of activities available. He says the system has higher capabilities, so they know the lines will be shorter. Now, old technology and the time people would show up to vote all contributed to those long lines that we saw during early voting in 2020. I'm told this system is much faster and won't impact a day of voting. The system goes online in March and early voting for a primary election in Georgia is April 3rd. We're live in Jacksonville, Maryland Parker Channel 4, the local station.